Logan, be real here, man. Do we really have to wear these ugly-ass sweaters? They itch to the very core. These are our friendship sweatshirts, James. I thought this channel was going places, but it seems Wait, I man. can't yeah. trust... Wait a minute, yes. are they sweaters or sweatshirts? I, I'm getting conflicted signals. Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. I don't, it shows how often I wear sweaters in freaking California. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're sweatshirts. Anyway, we actually have an interesting... He's dead. Huh. Okay. Uh, th that was an, that was an enemy that there's two ways to actually defeat him. Either get very lucky if you have the powerful, if you have the power thrust, or if not, he's actually so invincible you literally cannot defeat him unless you literally just push him off the edge. Ah, so but, they're uh, like yeah. uh, bullies. Oh my gosh, that's yeah, pretty much. So in you go. Yeah. At least they at least they daze pretty easily when you attack them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Meanwhile, uh oh, jeez. Get out of here. I said I'm not in the mood for fish. Get lost. I was busy killing a snowman. Get out of here. Alright, give me that armor so I can become invincible. Woohoo! No none can defeat me, which is why I'm going to start just sprinting wildly. But yeah, welcome everybody to the Frozen Wastes, back into Maximo Ghosts of uh, Ghost to Glory. Or for those that don't live in the U.S., just straight up Maximo. Yeah, I actually don't know why they need to add that subtitle. Me neither. I mean, it is kind of a cool subtitle, but at the same time, it wasn't ultimately necessary. Right. Right, nice. Got ourselves another... Got myself the old shield throw again, which I'm appreciative of. And now, because of, uh... And because of defeating... Ow. Defeating... I believe those bomb totem uh, enemies are new. Uh, yes. And I forgot, actually, the way you're supposed to deal with them. Don't, norm don't uh, attack them head-on, because what will happen is, um... What will happen is that normally, you no, know, they're carrying the bomb. They're just gonna blow up. So actually, what what I need to do, I will show off when I when I find one again. Uh, but I'm effectively going to crouch and I'm going to uh, slash at their legs. But for now, uh, we have ourselves a very interesting combination of a uh, level. Uh, themes here, uh, both an icy tundra and a pirate land. Yep, it's almost like we got sent straight to Norway or something. Are we moving? Oh, we're moving. Oh, yeah, no, the, the, this whole giant ice light tide's moving across the water. It was just John about as usual. He was, go he was just going on his daily cold stroll. Okay, well, off he goes. And, uh, and for here, the uh, special talismans to look for our uh, snowman. Very, very appropriate. Yeah, I believe it's this song, actually, that if you listen closely, at one point in the song, it'll actually, uh, you'll actually hear the, the, the map, the map theme from the original Ghosts and Goblins. Ah. Yep, they actually pulled from something else other than the usual, uh, oh, <laughs> wow, that, that's, that skeleton was just was literally stunned. frozen in awe over what just happened. Alright, so with these guys, the trick with these pirate guys is notice the cutlass stabbed in their gut. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh, you want to make sure you hit them from behind. That way, when you go to do a down stab... Oh, thanks for the frostblade. Uh, that way, if you hit them... That way, if you try to do the downward strike, you won't land right on top of a cutlass. Oh. Because otherwise, normally, what would happen... Come on. Oh. Ow. Ow. Thank you. Okay. Eh, I'm going to go eh, for that one-up because eh, I'm bold. Eh, eh, bold eh, and eh, brash. Eh, 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 eh. Eh. <laughs> eh. Nope. Eh. Can't suck up your lives. Eh. Okay. <laughs> I did it. Alright, let's get out of here. I did it all by myself. So, yeah. Now that I'm now that I'm here, um uh I think more honestly in my experience, what's gonna start happening here is that the combat is not gonna be as uh I'm just gonna keep my big mouth shut for the next ten seconds. Why? <laughs> <laughs> while I grab this gold, and then I will say what I was going to say. We're now getting to the point where the combat is not actually going to be the biggest problem. It's going to be uh, the platforming, because these levels are about to become a little bit more deviously uh, designed, with a, a harsher platforming if you're not ready for them. Again, it's not, it doesn't help that we're already dealing with a with level geometry that is very, very crooked. Yeah. Right. Ah, dang, no friendly fire. But this is what you want to do. Get up close them, crouch, and Oop. slash at them. Oh shit! Four, three, uh, four, help! Seven. And that way he drops and can't get rid of his own bomb, and so uh, left to the birds, as they say. 
You ever? I mean, to be fair, I, he, the, I'm pretty sure the dude still has his arms. He could have easily just tossed it up, tossed it by the wayside. I guess without his legs, you don't, you don't got the force. Okay. <laughs> I suppose so. That. And power stab. Done. Then again, have you ever tried to uh, toss a baseball while just sitting down, like sitting cozy on a uh, bench or whatever? I don't want to answer that question. It's been a while since I, I used to play baseball as a kid, but I just I genuinely just haven't played sports since then. Uh, yeah, me neither. Whoa! I only did little league, and that's about as far as I went. How about you? Have you you're much of a sportsman? Not ex not entirely. Like I, I've played like a bit of like casual sports now and then. Like I think I played like. Like, I used to play some casual nice. basketball when I was younger with friends, you know, whenever an opportunity presents itself. And I think I did play baseball once. Outside of that, I'm not quite... I'm not exactly, like, a sports entrepreneur or, or like, enjoyer of sorts. Fair enough. I usually, like, I, I only ever really, like, get invested if there's, like, uh... Also, I got the wider shockwave, which is very nice. But, uh, I only ever really watch if it's, like... If it's like a, a like a, a team that I'm like very like familiar with, like my family like are big into like are, are big into like certain teams in particular, and so I'll watch those ones. But I'm not like I'm not super invested in like other. I, I don't I don't just watch it, nor do I usually play sports games just on their own. I usually need to, you know, there needs to be a little bit more to it than just that. I hear a wizard. It's called wanting to subvert. It's called wanting to uh, entice yourself away from the realisms of actual sports as much as possible. Yeah, it's like I, I, I just... know my I know my uncles and aunt, and I think my stepdad are big on the football, but that's about the the most I can say. All I'm saying is I just want another Mario three v three. That would be nice. <laughs> like that actually was something about that was actually really fun for me in terms of uh Oop. in terms of oof. In terms of a, of a sports game, just because like there's more to it than just uh, I mean, it's, it's th there's more to it than just that. Uh, yeah, it was certainly unique and interesting. I'll give it that. Um, however, I don't really foresee it happening anytime soon because that would require Square to actually care. You care about games that aren't live services and crap. Right. I have no idea which way is the real way, so I'm just gonna just pick a way and just go with it. Add a way. Oh, this one is a bonus way. Yay! I chose correctly. <laughs> I, I chose correctly the... because I want the ri I want the riches. So I want to see what's inside here. Let's see. It is. And ready. open her up. It's gonna be the one and only mimic. No. Never mind. <laughs> a bowl! I got a bowl. Good <laughs> for me. <laughs> uh, you know what? Having been, yeah, I, I, having finally gone around to watching a marathoning that show this, this this year, I am I am bummed. That uh, that that it had to come to an end, but I am almost kind of glad that like it ended before it could get like say old for some people. Yeah, I guess because yeah. like it that's that's honestly the thing about Freakazoid. Like I feel like the only way it could have been as great as it was if it had begun and ended at the time it did. Like you know, as much as I love the characters and the stuff that they get into, I have a hard time seeing them capture that same kind of magic if they ever try to like like give it like a dedicated revival or renewal or whatnot like like i could definitely i'm definitely game for like him like being a guest in certain things you know not on not unlike what they tried to do with teen times go but as far as like a flat out new freakazoid series like unless they get the very right people involved in it i don't know if it'll still capture that same magic yeah especially yeah, considering I mean... it, to be considering its whole you know for lack of a better word gimmick is very much a little too tired and true in today's age Right. Right. Welcome to and it'd the. Be, and it would be very tricky to try to uh, recapture some of that magic. Right. So, uh, contrary to a lighthouse, welcome to the dark house. The dark house. Yep. And I am looking for a level called Go with the Flow. Cannibal Run. That's the last <laughs> level we'll be doing, actually. Is one of these levels called the Polar Bear Challenge? I uh, no, and I know. I did that once. I'm just. I don't want to why did you do? Why did the you do polar that? Bear challenge. It, it, it was. It was at a Boy Scout camp, and I wanted to. So basically, what the polar bear challenge is uh, hype is. It's something that's normally. I, I've normally only ever seen it done at like, uh, Boy Scout camps. Here we are at Boy Scout camps and stuff. But uh, the way it works is, you have to wake up at like crack of dawn, 5 a.m., 6 a.m. in the morning. Whoa! Hello. What a swan dive! Die. <laughs> um. 
<laughs> and you're supposed to... I call to... this the swan die. Eh. It's very good. It's very important. I, I, I appreciate it. Anyway, what do you do? The, uh, consideration. Hey! Yeah, yeah. Got Doomstrike. Nice. Uh, what, anyway. what, you're what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to just go into a pool, go into a lake, just at 5 in the morning, jump in, hope you don't get a heart attack and die. Oh. Which is apparently something that actually can happen if you're old enough, so that's why I don't do it anymore. But not even that was if just you're old, I mean, not even, not even if you're old enough, if the water's cold enough. Right. So... Yeah, that, that's that's what that's what people that's what Boy Scouts would do for fun, and, I guess. And I did it once, and I just remember being very surreal because it was like it, we were all there, and like it was to the point where like steam was coming off of the surface of the pool that we were all in because of our body heat actually just being that much warmer than the surrounding area and the water itself. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like a more excessive and shallow version of the Ice Bucket Challenge. Not wrong. I mean, you could just argue that it's pretty much just the Grandpa equivalent of that. Yeah. I mean, the, the Ice Bucket Challenge at least had a noble cause behind it, whereas this, it just sounds more like, Hey, let's be stupid. You're not wrong, that, was, that definitely seemed to be a... Uh... That definitely seemed to be a motivator for it. Uh, as for the Ice Bucket like, Challenge, I only did it once. It's like digging holes. It builds character. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, get that checkpoint, and... Uh, I could fight that guy, or... Or? <laughs> just nab the gold out. Hey! That was my bag, you piece Too of late. shit! I was, I, gonna it, use, I was gonna use that to buy me some crullers. Today was my splurge day. I was gonna use that money to buy for a sweater. I mean, come on. Do you think this is any bit oh, comfortable for me to go shirtless out in the iceberg? Dang it. I got an ability I did not want. But I, it was bound to happen eventually, and I can always get the other one back. This is the Shield of Storms. This is the one that uh, if I now hold out my shield, I actually can push enemies back. Uh, and uh, do that to also knock enemies back as well. Interesting. It has some neat, uh, it does have some neat, uh, like, survivability, like, perks to it, but it's not, I'm, I'm just more of a fan of the Shield of Midas since it allows me to, whoo, since it allows me to, you know, get a little bit closer to gold without having to, like, you know, throw myself at risk. Where the heck am I going? Um, maybe Good a question, backtrack? where are you going? I, I doubt it. I, I, they, they can, hang on, let's go maximum mode. Okay, I know my goal is to get up there. I think you're supposed to go up there from a different place. Oh, I am supposed to come back this other way. Oh, you're right. Okay. Yeah, you, you went to a bonus area. Whoa. Okay. Well, fine. Let's just let's just carry on, and I'll hopefully get back up to where that checkpoint was, since clearly I jumped down too soon. Remember, Maximo, don't get seasick now. I, dude, any... You idiot! Oops. <laughs> it's case in point. I mean, I'm fine, and honestly, this gets me back where I wanted to be anyway, which is up here. Because, okay, now I see where I'm supposed to go. Jump, avoid you, jump up here. Oh, so you were supposed to go this way. I have forgotten about you stealing me sweater, buddy! Too late. Right, you. Crouch. Hit. You know what, just for that, I'm not going to shoot my crullers with you. That's unfortunate. Dude, I probably did one of those crullers. Well, I maybe mean, you should have thought twice before hitting me with your shield. Listen, I don't care how much of a crawler fanatic you are. That shit's gonna get very. That shit's gonna freeze up really fast in this uh, freaking climate. Well, that's why he gets them straight from the oven. Oh dear, I kind of feel bad about stabbing him in the chest thirteen <laughs> times. Did you stab him in the chest? I looked like you stabbed him straight in the crotch. I was using the fireball, which uh, when you uh -huh. use the fireball, uh, when you use the fireball power up. Uh, with Frostblade, uh, it actually ends up it actually ends up uh, looking a lot like uh, when you use Blizzard in Kingdom Hearts, just like a shotgun of uh, of ice. Oh, I was about to say like if you, when you put, combine it with the fire power, it was like wait, you give the give the game the guy a thermal shock? Nah. I thought I thought that using the the ice combined with fire just turns it into water. Actually, that that actually would be an, an interesting mechanic. To play with, but uh, with actually having your elemental abilities, Oop. my jump was a little bit wacky on that platform. Um, I'll just I'll just speed pat speed back there, and here we go. And right. I'm gonna make sure I'm get. Okay, I see. My my movement was a little bit slowed since I'm going against the river for whatever reason, but that's fine. I'll just focus. Not yet. 
the next ice flow. Playing hot, playing hot, sco hot scotch on top of a uh, freezing river has to sounds like a death wish. It's not recommended. Ah, that hurt. Okay. <laughs> I mean, as far as the gold, I'm pretty much loaded. I don't, I don't have much use for these right now since, I, since I've been pretty, A, decent at remembering where I'm supposed to go, and, uh, whoa, and also, uh, not needing to save. I, usually I save a lot more frequently than this, but, uh, oh, shoot. Right in the, again, you, you where you slice them, it's like right in, right in the crotch. Right, I got some more sword energy, nice, thank you. Especially considering, like, the pose they make the moment they, they fall flat and die. Oh, I, lo I, I love how, like, I love how, uh, like, cartoonishly expressive they are. More and more. Uh, it, it, it's not enough. It, it's not a lot, but, uh, but I'll, I'll take it. Hey. But, you know, otherwise, be uh, beyond that, I mean, I'd say be careful with these guys, because uh, they, they hit hard. Mm -hmm. shield, shield throw, thank you. Oh, yeah, no, I, can, I didn't even realize the fact that, yeah, I pretty much lost my entire, uh, uh, armor, but uh, I'll take that and that as well. So now we're back in the game. He got his snazzy helmet back. Good. I'm actually like I I I do I do like how. Uh, whoa, that was a close one. No, you don't. I'm not losing this thing again. No, I just got it. But no, I I do like the general sense of empowerment that you feel like e even as far as like a Ghosts and Goblins games you know go since clearly they can't you know they have to make it still have some challenge to it but just the simple act of being able to hold on to more power ups after death so that you can pick yourself up uh, after a uh, fight is is appreciated and I mean yeah no to Maximus credit it's like they actually. At least you get to keep these for a little longer, just because they're all attached to uh, separate health bars. Yep, we just got ourselves another actually very neat move, uh, doing the spin attack uh, by rotating the uh, analog stick and uh, rotating counterclockwise. You gotta do that. Well, so you just straight up pull... It's just straight up link spin attack. More or less, yeah. Honestly, yeah, that's exactly it. I don't think I want to go for that silver key because, ah, but then I did I did spend one earlier. Hang on, do you give me anything? No, you're just a baddie. Excuse me. You know, fine, a, I'll go just for a baddie. It. Fine, I'll Is that go all for you it. think of me? <gasps> oh. Okay, fine. The key ain't worth it. I'm moving. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. James and I rarely ever get to see this because of where we are geographically, but, uh, Hype, have you, uh, have you ever been to the snow? Um, it has snowed quite a bit here. Um, oh! Not, oh boy. Oh. Oh, that's Oh, never mean. mind. Yeah, okay, I gotta be quicker on the draw. Okay, I'm just gonna speed run to that point. Don't you fret. I honestly kind of, this is gonna sound like a weird comparison, but it kind of gives me, like, that same kind of, like, vibe whenever I see, like, it's, where it's just about to storm, or it's already storming, where it's like all the clouds are gray, but it's just like a completely solid gray, making everything like in front of the sky just pop. I could see, you know, I I I I I I understand what you're coming from with that as well. I, it's part of why I also don't mind. Um, I know it. Ha I know it has a name. I think it's Petrichor, but it basically the smell of like w when you're like out and about and like the ground has just been recently rained on and the smell that you that you can like pick up from oh, the just dew? like the asphalt or the ah the it's dew, fresh the dew. I love the smell of fresh dew in the morning. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's that's the issues. I'm just like, I I don't know. I'm 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 that weird maybe emo. I don't get it. No. I'm I'm that I'm in that I'm in that weird thing where like I I love I don't like rainy days, but I truly do like a nice cloudy a nice overcast cloudy day as opposed to like beating hot of hell summer, uh, beating hot of hell summer like snowy day. Yeah, like, it's, honestly, it's really weird when it comes to me and rain. Like, like kind of not dissimilar to snow. I love rain for its like aesthetics. Like I love the sound of rain and even the visuals of rain. I just don't like uh -huh. when it interferes with my day. That's fair. Uh, is this safe? Whoa! Uh, it was safe, but, it was safe but I went. The, it was safe, but I went the wrong direction. Okay, go on Whoops. back. I have to get on top of the ship. You actually have to get on the ship, you big dingus. Fine, fine, sue me. I did one thing with the pirates that they did not expect. That's how you keep. That's how you catch the pirates unawares. You do stuff like that. Get and all here, the enemies and in the here room. we shall board the Black Pearl. And then we do this! Well, shit. <laughs> what, a way, what a way to make an entrance. Yeah? Yep. 
I think that took most of them out, and then I can... I don't think I have a key with me. Yep, fair enough. Fine. No, no keys. Okay. Maybe, there, maybe there's one stashed on the ship. Please, give me a key. Ow. Oh, I see one. It's right behind this guy. Excuse me. Okay. Easy does it. Tiptoe, 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 Maximo. Tiptoe on the top sail. Do not even think of scaring me like that, young man. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. This better have been worth it, having me go all the way over there and traipsing along and almost courting with sheer frozen death. Fire. Honestly, I'm surprised I haven't gone this yet. <laughs> yeah, in a place like this? This feels like this would be the perfect opportunity to have it. Because I can just go... Whoops. And now you burnt the ship. Okay. Oh, well, the ship's already Sweet. gone. The ship's already gone down anyway. Bigger shockwave. Come on, open the portal. Thank you. There wow. you go. Woo, thank goodness. I was freezing I was freezing my everything's around here. Unfortunately I do remember where the next level is. You just have to head this way. Whoa, no you don't. No, Not today, to Sailor. I mean, I get, and I guess ultimately that's the. I, I am. I, I'm. I'm not again. I'm not a. No, jeez. I am not. Uh, I'm not too concerned with like skipping enemies. There's, there's no experience points. I'm not losing anything by doing this. Yeah, it's the more... mo the most you could probably get out of them is maybe additional coins or whatnot. But that's right. really about it. Which considering, which considering how I'm like, again handling the the coin situation here, I think I think we'll be fine. And because now let's be real here. If you were actually making the most out of your saves, then yeah, you definitely could be hurting from coin. Oh, because well, because then absolutely, because in that situation, I would be pretty much required to get at least a hundred coins per level if I really wanted to like make progress and keep it. Yep, dead in the water. I don't, I don't recall if this game do pulls the thing of like the further along into the game, the more it'll cost to save your game. I don't. I don't know actually. You know, I, I I'm gonna check after this. I, I'm gonna check. Well, I mean. Eh, I mean, I know I'm gonna check already when it's time to uh, when it's time to face off with the with the ruler of this realm, Captain Cadaver. So I'll just Cadaver. Oh, oh. <laughs> Captain Cadaver. I mean, it makes sense. All right. All right. Oh, this is the song. Wait. There it is. Uh, this was the song that uh, has the uh, the map theme inside of it. Oh, and nice. I and I do like this theme. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Let's go. I mean, in general, I'll definitely say this uh, area has one of, some of the more, um, you know, it, it, it's one. Of, it has some of the more surprising, some of the more surprising tracks you'll hear in the game. I think so. Like Whoa. it almost sounds a little too um, epic for it. So it almost seems a little too epic for what was already treating itself fairly silly. Right. Excuse me. Please don't be a mimic. Thank you. For your life. I will take that. Oh. <laughs> wouldn't that be some shit? That, you know, now is another thing about it. Wouldn't that be some shit if, like, whenever you come across a mimic, you actually take them out? You actually, that's, they're the ones that reveal the hearts when you defeat them? <sighs> Honestly. It'd, it'd be appropriate. I do, I, I, I am not against that. I do like the idea of, like, risk reward. Like, yes, like, you could either run from the mimic or stand your ground and actually get something for it. Now, if it was a mimic cutie, on the other hand. No, we don't deal with those. <laughs> yeah, run for your fucking life. That snowman is going to be the death of us. <laughs> yes, he is. Because already you're... Jeez, dude. You, you, I'm a, I'm, you know, let's bless this game for not having actual, like, weather damage sort of values like you get out of Breath of the Wild. Or, oh, I assume it'll be, like... be in the, Tears of the Kingdom as well, but, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Oh, my God. Okay. One. Like, you're in your boxer, sure. Two. But, I mean, it's not gonna... The cold ain't gonna kill you. Yeah. You might For just, now, maybe anyway. you'll, maybe you'll shiver like like Mario does whenever he goes walking around and walking around in his boxers. I still need to look up. I I, I forgot. I, I need to look into like what these different pop boxers do because I know they have like some different attributes. I just I just forget why. I I feel like they're only just there for cosmetic. But I mean, while you take care of that, I'll go. I'll go ahead and check it out. Hang on, itching my eye anyway. Oof. Aw. It, get, it hits us at the worst possible times. But yeah, just look at, like, Maximo different boxers or something. Maximo. <laughs> First thing I get is the un is underwear from the Ghosts and Goblins wiki. Let's see here. So, in Maximo this Glory, uh, Maximo can buy a different boxer to replace the one he's using. They do nothing other than change his appearance without armor. Ah. So, yeah, ah, from what it okay. looks like. Uh, so, it starts off with, like... From the get-go, you get the heart boxers. You can also get the pal boxers like we have here. You can also get monogram boxers and cow boxers. I remember the cow boxers being especially uh, tricky to go for. 
I'm just gonna gun it. What I don't remember is if they're actually actual cow patterns or if they nope. are. Uh, uh, ow. I or if it, seen that coming. But yeah, no. Otherwise, it's like you, you get the armors. I I think they sell keys as well. Uh, they can sometimes sell iron keys. Yeah. Beyond that, it's like you get the boxers, or if you're really feeling that, if you're really feeling shitty about yourself, you could buy the footstool cheese. Or whatever they call it, like a foot cheese or whatever. The foot cheese, yeah, which actually now, come to think about it, yeah, no, I would not spend money on the foot cheese because only the first world has had that hollowed ground that makes it difficult to traverse around. Now that now that we're out of that, now that we're out of the boneyard, there's no point to, uh, to really, you know, be making that risk anymore what so what exactly does the foot cheese do again so all the foot cheese does uh is whenever hang on I'll be very careful here <laughs> tread carefully maximo hmm. i you know what that, that's the whole thing around this entire area there's a bunch of different items and things i think i'm just gonna get out i don't i don't i'm not particularly a fan of this place because of the spinning and the waiting and the so i think it's here i there's want a potion if, there's a potion if you need oh. it I think it's this one I want. Let me see. Yeah, this is the one. Um, at least I think. Anyway, they just gave me a key, so I don't know suddenly. Um, but all it does is whenever whenever we were in the graveyard and was dealing with that ground with all the skeleton hands rising up at us. Oh, I'm missing the real key. Mm, oh. Um, well, while you're here, maybe you can grab that potion. Uh, I don't think I need it yet. I think I can make this. Yeah, if you're sure. Oh, huh, good. Ooh. What but, are you uh, be spending your money on? Uh oh. But yeah, what the Down foot cheese does? Yeah, what the foot cheese does is it just. Uh, I'm not making that. What the foot cheese does is it allows you to walk on that ground, and the skeleton hands won't try to reach up and claw at you because of your stinky feet. Oh. Uh, okay. Like, I think you brought that's that up. That's literally before. all it does. Yep, that's all it does. Oop. Then yeah, and then yeah. No, I mean to be fair, don't they only sell? I think they only sell the foot cheese in that level anyway. So. Which makes sense now. Oh, come on. Quit playing hard to get. These guys with the shields are usually like... I need... Uh, maybe maybe, I, maybe I'm like attacking too like swiftly and I need to like pay attention. But okay, there's the gold key. Hopefully there's a, there's a new pair of, uh, new pair of uh, armor. And, uh, oh, never mind. Nope. I can have his. No. <laughs> oh, if only. Nah, okay. Okay, get the shield throw. Now we just gotta wait for the ship again. And this, attempt this a daring poor, loot. poor ship. Constantly spinning around in this never-ending whirlpool. It's honestly amazing that it stayed afloat this long. Okay, here we go. Okay. Alright, and then we'll just... Maybe for all I know, that maybe this whirlpool isn't even so much trying to... It's not even trying to sink so much, it's just... A natural like spinning cyclone sort of thing. Oh yeah, like like just like a little stream, just the thing that I can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is not our spot. Oh, there, he, there he is. He's. <laughs> do, 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 he really <laughs> wants. He wants something better to wear. Bad. Okay, just a little bit further. That's where we came in. Then there was the snowman. Then it was this spot that we had already been to. So I think it's the next one. Hopefully, this, maybe. Finish. Yeah, I believe it's this one I want. So, run, jump. Oh, jeez. The potion does me no good since I already uh, have no more armor to uh, no more <laughs> armor bars to fill up. See, I told you you probably could have used it earlier. I told you these was the right cut of stakes. Okay. But we didn't so use any stakes. Our... Okay, I want a checkpoint. I want it now. This is a lot to throw at a man. <laughs> Well, do you even have to go that way? It looks like it just leads to a shop. No, no, no. That is definitely the way I need to go because that... That's a key, I think. Is that a key? Hang on. Yeah, it's a key. Um, but no, that's the way I want to go because that is the end portal right there. Uh, across Ugh. the way there. Yeah, that's the end portal. Uh, I mean, okay, there, there's that. I was I was thinking, like, you were, like, aiming earlier to where there was a shop over there. I thought, like, like are you really going to try to actually make that distance? I'm going to see if I can find anything useful in here. Okay, another chest. Ah, I do have to go this way then to get that key. Fine, let's just hope there's aren't, there aren't too many enemies. Well, oh, there's, ice phys there's ice physics. Excuse me. Okay, no more enemies. Aha, uh -huh. I see you. 
take the shield throw, I guess. Fine. And then the key was right there. Excuse me. Thank you. Hopefully they won't blindside me with a suddenly spawning enemy, enemy the moment I grab that key. You know they could absolutely. You know they, they you absolutely know they, would have. They would get. They, they didn't. They would receive a complaint if they didn't do something like that, which I will. But thank you. All right, now I feel better. Oh, a little warmer now. All right, let's go. First, let's uh, take a Bigfoot. Mm -hmm. The only way we know how. This is not a good start to me. Okay. I was about to say, don't lose, don't lose that thing. You just got it. No, you don't. Do a shot, wait. Oh, well, there that goes. Yep, I'll take that, though. Oh, do oh, oh dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. You're... That, that, this is bad. Yeah. yeah. That's the end of my trip. Ugh. Damn it. And the problem is that that takes me all the way back to the ship. Well. What? We'll be right... Oh. Also, I died, died. Oh, yeah, that game over. Of course I'm going to continue. Here's your coin. Thank ah, you, good dear. old genuine death coin. You know, you'd be surprised how many of the how many counterfeit chocolate coins I end up co coming across with my usual clientele. Oh, it does start me at the start of the level whenever oh, I. Oh yeah, that's uh. We'll be back, folks. We'll be right back. <gasps> all right. We were talking about DC Super Friends, but yeah, I mean, I, I that, that's all I can assume is that they just they didn't have the uh the content that they needed to fill out those time blocks, so they had to do something with it. Well, I mean, also because, I, whereas they were airing Super Friends on the usual daytime, you know, <clears throat> schedule, they'd save the more the more hardcore stuff like the animated series for, like, Toonami. Mm -hmm. Oh. There you go. Doom Strike them. <laughs> Boy, more. wouldn't that have been nice if we had that earlier. We done? Thank you. Get me out Get of here. Get us out of here. Too many enemies. I only did 31% of the level. <laughs> too, I don't care. too many enemies dead in the water. Ah, I see what you did there. Oh, jeez, red shielded guys now. Oh, fuck that noise. Get out of there. Oh, but I do have enough. I think I have enough coins for this. Yes, I do. Give it. Give me that. Give me that. So, uh, what's left on our journey across the uh, across the um, the Arctic? Uh, one more level. The 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 uh, aforementioned Cannonball Run over yonder. Thank goodness for no fall damage. And thank and... goodness, none, and thank goodness, none of this, these platforms end up, you know, um, melting apart. over the course of the level, of the course of our uh, time here. See, I do actually think that would have been a neat idea of like, because they were they were onto something, they're onto something with the, um, ha. they're onto something with the idea of like having the hub world change a bit, um, the more that you, uh, the more that you adventure, uh, such as you know, such as spawning new enemies, and uh, what does this one do again? It's been a while. Oh yeah, the gold seeker ability that uh, reveals treasure chests. But anyway, um, but I honestly think that more, even more than just spawning more enemies, maybe they should have also added like, maybe also add um, just yeah, like new terrain and stuff that spawns in as you're fighting, so that you can try to uh, uh -oh. so that you can try to uh, circumnavigate, and so then you have to really start determining. Uh, which, uh, which levels you attack in which order. But, now get me in here. There you go. Would have been interesting, but, you know, this game can only do so much within its time frame. Understood. I mean, the PlayStation 2 was such a new, bangled piece of machinery around the time this game came out, so they were still trying to figure out what they could and couldn't do. Yeah. Like, it, I, don't, I mean, you know, it still looks pretty good for its time, but it's also, like, you just look at how it handles it and how it looks. It's like, you could definitely tell this was probably meant to be... This was already being developed for, like, the PlayStation... Like, a late PS1 game until it made the shift to PS2. I do... I, I can... I can see a lot of that in this, yeah. Ouch. Right. Well, that guy. Give me some crossblade. No, you don't. Jeez. I ain't lo I ain't losing that easily, especially not in front of in front of the e old mammoth. The mammoth would judge me. They are historically nature's most judgmental creatures, and nature didn't take too kindly to that. That's why we don't see any more mammoths around here anymore. Nope. Well, what about the dinosaurs? The dinosaurs got cocky. They made enemies. <laughs> I love that bit. I don't even care that oh. I died. I love that bit. They made enemies. 
That's on uh, Disney Plus now, isn't it? Now the blue sky uh, is. Uh, yeah, I, I think it is. Sure it is. Yeah. Okay. I'd be shocked if it wasn't. That was from that was that was from Ice Age two, wasn't it? Or was yes, it Ice Age it, one? With it was the, like, two. Okay, I remembered liking two a little bit more, like for its writing. Two, one was okay, but I didn't. But I but I agree, and I and it's thankfully the uh, the writers of the movies themselves agreed. The human aspect of like trying to do the Monster Inc. little kid boo, oh, oh. you know, except with a except with a uh, a young uh, a young. Uh, Oh my god! I'm the... well, I mean, it's funny you bring that up because I think didn't that movie come around like come out roughly around the same time as Monsters Inc. I think. Yeah, I mean, I didn't mind it so much, largely just because I feel like it did help to service uh, Manny's character development, and honestly, that's kind of why I like the first one just a smidgen more because I feel like that had stronger character development out of the two movies. That's yeah, fair. like for, like you could definitely argue that one had the most heart out of the entire uh, series. That is everything, fair. Like from there on, like. For every other movie onward, for better or worse, mostly focused on the comedy. Yeah, it, it was yeah, diminishing. Like yeah, two, two still had a little bit of that heart left, but that was the point where it was starting to get. Oh, hey, it's hmm? new pair of boxers. Well, uh, I couldn't. I could. I could. I don't think I. I, I couldn't afford that and the save though. Nah, fair point. But yeah, like I was saying, like two was definitely the point where, the, like you said, it was leaning a little bit more towards like the kiddish comedy, but it still had like a little bit of that heart. The first one had just not as much. Three, I think, is where they just start going all over the place in terms of how to make its comedy, but I feel like it was just funny enough to get away with it. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Unfortunately, it was also by that point where they start bringing in dinosaurs. Well, that was the only film that brought in dinosaurs. Well, actually, I think the fifth film does too, but I never saw it. Was the fifth one the ship, the, the yeah. ship sailing one? That one explored a dinosaur and it did and and um oh crap what's his what's his face um peter dinklage was his name i think um well yeah, peter, peter dinklage, dinklage. Uh, i thought peter dinklage was uh, the villain of the fourth film oh i'm sorry wait because that's what because the, the fourth film was what i was thinking about with the sailing the fifth one was the, the fifth no, one was about was the space one yes and you're right that one did have some other dinosaurs in it don't <gasps> Mr. Snowman, no! <laughs> you you were about to go down with Mr. Snowman if you weren't careful. I was about to say, you were going to kill the snowman regardless anyway. That's a good point. Yeah, but I wanted to... Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thank Jeez. you, game developers, for understanding that I would have made a folly of a move just then. That would have been so freaking batshit if you actually did fall in the water just right Just straight up. I, I wouldn't have even been... I was like, yeah, I deserve that. <laughs> yeah. You'll never catch me! Sploosh! Beam. Okay, jump over him. Uh, Hit him. And then dive right to his skull. Okay, get more coins. Good, good, good. More for Papa. Bomb thrower, so no time to... No time to stick around. And cannonballs! Now we got... The, now I see why they call it the cannonball run. Oh, oh I got Oh, hit. even better, there's... Oh jeez! Yeah, like, was like how to avoid all that while physics. dealing with ice physics? Like fuck that shit. Okay, just keep moving, just keep moving, just keep moving. Get down, get him. No. Uh, we might want to evade. Want, we not, not want to get near him. All right, we're good. It's like after all that, a mimic is the last thing I need. Give me more armor, thank you. Whew. Across we go. I saw that. I will get that in just a moment. Break off this platforms. See, I, I, that's the thing. Like, I'm I'm willing to deal with this game's like difficulty. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay to deal with this game's difficulty and like stuff, as long as they put like a fair amount of checkpoints in Do between everything. A fair amount of checkpoints and also try to ease up a little too much, a little bit on the um, bullshit. Yeah. Oh, uh, poke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that that's such an anticlimax. Oh, I mean, it, I, I to be fair, my my poke was on fire. And very sharp, thank you. Alright, now where's the way out? Because I am lost. Yeah, this is a, I think we're actually near the end of the level now, because I vaguely remember uh, there being a goal around somewhere in this cavern. Okay, give me that. I'll leave you two as I saw you. <laughs> no one ever has to notice. No witnesses, which means... I'll leave you two, he says, Whoa. as he goes to kill those two. I think yeah, I, I okay, think you might be enough. blind. Take care, man. Live and let live. Oh, Lord. 
You guys, I said no such thing to, so I'm just gonna. There it is. There's the goal. Uh, but the problem is that, so again, the way this works is this is an enemy gauntlet, which means I, I have to kill the right amount of enemies for it to actually, uh, you know, let me move forward. So, fine. I guess well, I don't get to let you let live and let live. So, fine. You must die. And you die. And now is that it? Did I kill enough enemies for your bloodlust? Thank you. I'm out. Bye. Oh, gosh. And just like that, we are now at the end of the Frozen Wastes. Now Yay. we have to deal oh. with the Guardian in the Dark House's basement. You know, you say Dark House, Dark House, like, I meant to make this joke earlier, but I forgot about it. But when you talked about how, like, oh, it's the opposite of a lighthouse, it's a Dark House, I just think back to the the Dark House. I don't the know if that's what it's Grinch, actually called. The Grinch is, yeah, no, he called yeah. that the Grinch and the Grinch. <laughs> that was 100% what he called the Jesus. Okay, so, okay, oh so it wasn't just me grasping at straws. No, that did take me back. Oh boy. Okay, so does oh, it? Oh, it's still this, hundred. Yeah. Okay, so they they don't change the they don't change the uh, price, which is good. Rich, but otherwise, yeah. it's also like, oh boy, time to dip right into a. Wait a minute, this ain't no hot spring. This is gas. <laughs> oh god, no. Jeez. Now we're actually be going some. Now, uh, now actually, fortunately, uh, the guardian of this place is actually uh, pretty nice. Uh, hi hype. Tell me a joke. Um. Just any old, any old joke will do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, you kind of put me on the spot. I'm trying to think of something. Anything will work. Just uh, something with a nice, just something with a nice clear punchline. Uh, well, what do you call a three-humped camel? What do you call a three-humped camel? Pregnant. See, he's a he very, he's, he's a jolly good sword. You know, a more, a more appropriate joke for the, for this boss fight would have been more so. Why couldn't the Why couldn't the kids go to the pirate movie? Why? It was rated R. Oh, I'm not paying you to do way. stand up, Mister James Word. It's James, man, sir. Yeah, he's nice. Anyway, to kill him, we have to take advantage of his disability. <laughs> right, you gotta hit him right in the peg leg. Devil, damn. And the only way to, and the only way to do that is you have to get him stuck. In uh, these gratings on the floor, like you, like it'd be simple enough if you just said you gotta aim for the peg leg, but just straight up say take advantage of his disability. That's just cold. Oh, gee. where do you think we've been this whole time, dude? Also, this is yeah. all. This is all. Also, get a load of that orca in the background. It's actually pretty sick. Oh, great. Uh, beyond that, I believe his voice actor is uh, the same as Achilles, the, the king. Great. Oh, okay. Oh. I can sort of hear it. Okay, come on. Oh, Ouch. You know, this does seem rather... This does seem like rather advanced tech for what's supposed to be a mostly medieval society. Oh, yeah, this whole, like, submarine will... Well, don't forget, Achilles... Achilles has... Okay, dang, that one's been blown up. For whatever reason, Achilles has a drill that has managed to drill himself all the way into the underworld. Maybe it's the same That's as, like... Um, maybe it's the same as Xerix's time machine. Well, I mean, wasn't that wasn't that sort of just played up though? The, the fact that like he was so supposed to be like a pioneer of sorts for like for this dark magic called technology science. Science. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's rude. Oh, you. F that's me. You Jump told away. me to let you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now. I well, that was just mean, sir. How about Got I him. chop that leg right off of you? And there we go. Whew, close one. But dead, and nothing but his peg leg is left. Doot, doot. Let's keep it as a trophy. Alrighty. And by that, with that, we have saved the Frost Sorceress. Yoo-hoo! See, you look like you're properly dressed for this place. Hey, babe. So. Well, fought, my lord. Actually, yeah, no, she does look a little more appropriately just for this climate. Yeah. Give me another slot. Thank you. I will take the kiss upon this full chest of armor. You can't have both. All right. Okay, fine. It didn't hurt, didn't hurt to ask. Good luck. So, we only are missing one more sorceress left. But problem. Hmm? Achilles actually was very smart and killed the last sorceress. Ooh. 
or correction, now he killed her. So I will give him this as a villain. Very smart. Just kill the thing that your hero's clearly trying to go after. But, uh, well, luckily for us, that's on our side. I just realized, like, was this cloak always looking like that? Uh, or did he actually change it for this uh, Tundra world? Because I don't remember it looking that vibrant and green. Uh, think, uh, it, it was always like that. I, I would say this is the first time we've seen him in the living world, as opposed to when we were in the darkness, and just like that. Oh, boy. Welcome to hell. We're, we're in hell for a hell of a good reason. So, uh, yep. And actually, right beside us, might as well. These are the spirit goop thingies. They just have coins. Uh, over Fancy. there, those are the spirit thingies. They're these little baubles in the circles. But this will all be stuff for, uh, for next time, I, I imagine. So, uh, oh, great. Go away. Here. <laughs> You're bothering us. We need to get, we need to have our chill time. I'm not interested, yeah. Uh, with that, uh, join us in the next part as we're going to be going through the entire spirit realm to conquer life and death itself. Now let's stop and think about it. Death just, I mean, freaking Grim Reaper just killed us at this exact moment, so... I mean, just to have, get us sent down here in the first place. Do we really even need to worry about the whole coin system at that point? It's something never do it for free. Fair point. We'll see y'all next time. Bye. Shut up.